movie, White Boy Rick, is based on two different scripts, I guess, that were sort of floating around Hollywood. They were combined. What was your first contact with the material, and was Jan Demange already attached? Jan Demange was already attached. Um, they came to me with a script that was an amalgamation of a couple. And I believe the original ones were more of a sort of the rise and fall of a young uh, uh, kingpin, sort of a Scarface story. But as Jan says, it tells it, there was like five, four or five scenes between the father and the son that were in there, and that's what spoke to him. So they worked on the script. It became much more of a family, father and son story. But when it got to me, I had challenges with the third act that were still very reminiscent of the old sort of rise and fall of the kingpin. The third act sort of, you, the, the father was gone, the family was gone, it was sort of forgotten. But it had been set up really well in the first two acts. So I had my notes ready to talk to the director about this third act challenge. And he shows up and we're talking and I haven't said anything about this. And then he goes, I said, so what do you think about the script? He goes, well, I like it because of this, this, and this. He goes, but the problem lies in the third act. That's our challenge. This is what we got to fix. The family's gone, blah, 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 blah. Says everything basically I just said. And as soon as he said that, I knew I was in. I slid him all my notes and I said, you've been reading my mail. <laughs> and that's when we went and worked on the third act and turned out to make the movie we made. Nice. I, I think your character, Richard, is sort of, he's defined by his indefe indefatigable sense of optimism. Um, like he's in a... He, he's in a is, is that something to which you can identify, I guess, in your own life? Yeah, I mean, but the difference is, is Richard, where she's sort of just, when I say reciting nostalgias of the past, he's sort of just reciting stuff just to give him a reason to get up in the morning and go, that's right, we can do this, this is who we are, we're worshies, we're lions, and you know what, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to have a good video store. You know, but he never follows through. I hope that I follow through on my stuff a little more than, <laughs> than Richard Wershey does, because he never follows through. He cannot toe the line. Um, but his optimism and his, like, I'm going to get up another day, and his absolute endurance and, 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 his, and his love for his family, I can, I can sure identify with. But he just, he, if you look at the, the, the movie, he loses every single scenario he's in. Richard Wershey loses. And I've never, I've never played that, that character before. Your co-star in this film, the title, the title character, Richie Merritt, was an unknown, a non-professional actor. Can you talk about, I guess, the challenges and delights of, of working with someone like that? Well, I mean, challenges are, you know, over the years of acting, you start to understand the, the, what it takes to prepare. You start to understand how, much, how important preparation is. You start to understand that uh, it's a long uh, workout to make a movie. It's long days. It's five, six days a week. It's three months. And there's a lot of fatigue if you don't pace yourself the right way. The challenges are he doesn't know where marks are or what a mark is or what an over-the-shoulder is from here. And if you go over here, it, you, you, the shot doesn't work because you're looking at the back of someone's head. He doesn't know these things that actors know just by instinct. But the delight is I can't really be in... I have to do less acting with that young man. I've got to talk to him. I have to talk to Richie Merritt. I've got to get to his heart and soul in every scene. And if I can have him feel something, then he's going to be honest on camera. Then we're where we want to be.